Welcome back to YouTube, I'm Ahmed again from In-Depth Tech Reviews and in today's video I'm gonna show you the top 5 Android apps I've been using for a while and I thought of sharing them with you because I think they are very useful so without further ado, let's jump in. The first app I'm gonna show you today is called Momento and this app will be very useful for people who listen to podcasts or watch videos on the go and you will be impressed by the idea of this app. First, it will allow you to locate your favorite podcast or video from three different sources either Apple, Spotify, or YouTube. As an example, I'm gonna search for my YouTube channel in the app and then go to the YouTube tab. From here, I can tap on my channel name and see all the episodes listed under my channel. So I'm gonna play any of them and that's when the fun begins. First thing to keep in mind, YouTube videos will only play the sound as if they are podcasts. So regardless if you are playing a podcast or a video, all of them will work exactly the same. So let's say you are playing the episode and you came across a specific part that you really like and you want to mark to be able to get back to it later. To mark your favorite parts of the episode, you can choose between four different tags, either a star, insightful, funny, or listen later. Tapping on any of them will do two things. First, it will transcribe the last played 10 seconds starting from the point where you tapped the button. Secondly, it will save the transcribed text and the timestamp for you so you can easily get back to your favorite parts of the episode either to play them again or simply read the transcribed text. And if you want more than 10 seconds, you can simply tap and hold on the tag. It will increase the time for you up to 60 seconds and once you release your finger, it will start transcribing and saving your favorite part. From the now playing screen, you can also swipe up to check your previously saved tags under this episode. From here, you can delete any of them and you can apply some edits. You can edit the text if you think the app didn't transcribe the words correctly and then tap on save edit. You can also change the tag duration by dragging the start and end handles you can also preview to listen to this part again and to make sure the words are matching. And once you are happy with the edits, tap on save edit and it will be applied to the tag. And if you want to check the full list of tags you have for all the episodes, simply go back to the home screen and then go to my tags. Here it will show you the videos. Tap on any of them and you will be able to scroll through the list. Here you will see the play button and once you tap on it, it will play starting from this point. You can also delete the tags as I showed you earlier or tap on share. The app will give you three different ways to share your favorite parts, either in a video, image, or plain text. Here you can also apply some edits like removing the Momento logo from the video. You can change the text color. And once you are happy with the edits, tap on share. It will take from 15 to 20 seconds to generate the video. So let me show you how it looks. So now the video is ready and I'm going to try to share it to my WhatsApp number and hit play. So as you see, the text is written at the top. You will get an animated waveform and the original sound of the episode. The second option is to share it as a normal image. It will look exactly like this one, or you can share it as a plain text. Uh, from here, you can apply some edits using your keyboard before sharing if you want to. You will also be able to add tags to your episode using your headphones or your car's Bluetooth, and the developer did it by assigning the next and the previous buttons to two different tags, the star and insightful. So that means if I'm wearing my headphones, like the Pixel Buds over here, and playing the episode, when I double tap to go to the next track, it will add a star tag instead. And when I triple tap, it will add an insightful one. And that will be the case in your car. And finally, there is a driving mode under the now playing screen that will show you much bigger buttons. I'm really impressed by the amount of features and the creativity of this app. So thumbs up for the developer and let's move to the next one. The second app I'm gonna show you is called Remove BG. And as the name suggests, this is a background remover, which is not something new, but I'm really impressed by the accuracy and reliability of this app. So let me show you how it works. Just tap on upload image, navigate to the one you want, and I will give it a very challenging photo like this one. 
First, it's taken at night, it has more than one person, and the background is not easy to handle. So let's take a look at the results. So if we're gonna take a look here, you will see me and my friends are perfectly isolated from the background. I don't see any issues around the edges or anything remaining from the background as well. Plus the darkest areas of the image are perfectly isolated without any issues. You can tap on the edit button if you want to change the background by choosing one from the app gallery or select your own. You can also change the blur effect intensity and under erase and restore you can remove parts or restore parts from the image and i found it to work well with objects too so for example here i have an image for my pixel 5 so let's take a look at the results and here you go the results are perfect so this app will be very useful in a lot of scenarios you can create your own resume photo your passport photo you can use it to create presentations or your youtube video thumbnail and so on and so forth downloading and installing the app is totally free of a charge but when it comes to downloading the image you have two different options the first one will give you up to 0.25 megapixels which is totally free but if you want to download the image in full size that can go up to 25 megapixels that's when you might need to pay extra money when you sign up for the first time you will get one credit for free which is enough to download one full size image but after this you need to purchase more credits by tapping on the get credits link and it will show you the price list for the subscription plans or you can choose from the pay as you go plans so now it's time for today's sponsor if you use one password for all your accounts it's probably a good time to stop doing this because if your password got compromised you will be putting all your other accounts at risk. That's why NordPass is something you should consider. It will store all your accounts and apps passwords, not only this but notes, credit card details and addresses. All will be stored with full protection and security. You can save passwords with one click, log in automatically, easily import passwords, access your passwords from a browser and sync passwords across all your devices. You can add NordPass extension to your browser on desktop or download the app from Google Play Store or App Store. So hurry up and get the summer kickoff sale with a massive 70% discount on the two years plan plus one month for free. Just go to nordpass.com slash IDTR or use IDTR code. All the links will be in the description below. The third app I'm gonna show you is called Resume Builder Pro and it's also listed as Resume Builder and CV Maker in Google Play Store. Due to the pandemic, a lot of people lost their jobs so if you are looking for an app that can help you create your resume in a very short period of time, I definitely recommend this app for you because it's easy to use and it has a lot of good looking templates and customizations. To start creating your CV, you can simply tap on the CV or resume button and start by choosing your template and here you will find a lot of good looking ones. I'm going to go with this one for now. Under personal info, you can put your photo, your name, phone number, email, etc. and a brief about yourself. After this, you have education and here you can add all the universities or colleges you've been through with the date and titles. You can also reorder the uh, boxes like this or you can dismiss any of them if you don't need it. You can do the same thing under the work experience and also under project. And finally, you have the additional information section and here you can add your skills, languages, interest, your social media profiles and also your website link, other references and awards. And that's pretty much it. Those are all the information of the CV, but you can also add things like a cover letter and the app will also give you a lot of templates based on the job you are looking for. You can turn this off or on. And also you can add a signature. So let's say we're going to put only the most important information. And once you are happy with the info, tap on the view button. It will show you how your resume looks like. It will also show you a carousel at the top to change your template in case this one didn't meet your expectations. You can also change the accent color of the uh, resume by tapping on any of them or choose the custom uh, color wheel. And tapping on the settings button will give you even more 
customizations like adding a margin to the page, changing the font size for the whole resume or specific parts. You can also change the font style or rename any of the headings the way you want. Like let's say contact me, change it to contact info and so on. And here you have at the top a very important option called enable single page resume. This one will make your resume more compact and more appealing to the employers by having everything written in one page. Once the CV is ready, tap on the send button over here. It will show you how it looks in full screen and it will allow you to print, share or download. Tapping on any of them will ask you to unlock the template in two different ways, either to pay $2.79 as a monthly subscription or use the free unlock method. And by this you have to watch an ad till the end. And once the ad finishes, you need to uninstall this app on your phone. And I managed to do this already and downloaded the same template you see in front of you right now. And I can see it under my downloads folder. So here is how it looks. The app can also help you do other things like a cover letter and choose from different templates based on the job title. You can create a resignation letter and you have some templates here based on the notice period. And finally, you can create a promotion letter and you'll see some templates here to get you started. And there are other features like the interview questions and how to answer them and a video tutorial for the app if you need any help. The fourth app I have is called Time Arrow and it will help you track the most important events in your life in a very simple yet elegant way. To track these events, you need to add them to the app. So for example, here I added my birthday, my graduation date and the first time I got a job. The app will show me these events on the timeline that I can expand or collapse. I can also see how many days passed since then. So for example, it shows here 12,896 days passed since I was born and it will do the same thing for the graduation and job dates. To add an event, simply tap the plus sign, give it a title, choose the date, choose an icon, tap the tick sign and you are good to go. Or you can choose one of the suggested events over here. The page you are currently on is called life and this one is for things that happens once in a lifetime. But when we go to the second page, we will see the year. And here you can add things that happens yearly, like your mom's birthday, your wife's birthday, your marriage anniversary, uh, any festival or memorial day that you know, and so on. And the third one is for monthly events like your salary, the rent, credit card payment, and so on. You have also one for the week and one more for the day. And each page will show you the percentage of time passed. So for example, under the day, it will show you 43% of that day already passed, 63% for the week, 8% for the month, and the 42% for the year. All the features I showed you in this video are totally free of a charge, but if you purchased the premium version for $2.99, you will get extra features like the ability to back up your events, get reminders, hide pages, save your events to the system calendar, activate secure access which will require a password, remove ads, and more. And the app number five called Quickify. This app will allow you to create custom gestures and assign them to do certain actions. So if you take a look here, you will see I already have five gestures, one to open Facebook, one to open Gmail, WhatsApp, etc. And all I need to do to utilize these gestures is to tap the floating button of the app from any screen and do the gesture I want and it will take me to the app I'm looking for. So here I'm in Gmail and let's say I want to do some calculations really quick. I can use the floating button and draw the gesture and it will take me to the calculator app. Here is Facebook, here is WhatsApp, and you can see how fast it can go from app to app. You don't need to go back to your home screen and then look for the app or check where it's located in your recent apps screen. But by this, you will save a lot of steps and it will be much easier for you to navigate the phone. And I found this approach to be much more reliable compared to other apps that utilize the edges of the screen like this one, because if you are using the gesture navigation, every time you go back, you might accidentally do a false gesture or the other way around. But this app will work regardless what type of navigation you are using. It will always work 
well without any overlapping. And if you want to create your own gesture, the process is pretty straightforward. All you need to do is to tap the plus sign at the top right corner and it will show you this whiteboard to start drawing your gesture. And for this one, I'm using letter M and I'm gonna assign it to open the YouTube application. So I'm gonna tap on choose response, go to application and give it a few seconds and then choose YouTube music. And by the way, if you want to easily memorize your gestures, it's better to use the initial letter of the app name. So here I'm using Y for YouTube, M for YouTube music, G for Gmail and so on. Because if you're gonna use random shapes and assign them to certain actions, you will start forgetting which one is for which. And it's not only about opening apps, you can also do some actions like toggling your Wi-Fi, silent mode, vibration mode, etc. You can make a phone call, you can send an SMS, and finally, you can uh, go directly to a specific web URL. And by the way, this app is quite old. It got released in 2014 and you can immediately tell from the user interface, but I think it's using a much better approach compared to recent apps. So that's pretty much it for today. Those are the top five apps I wanted to share with you. I've been using them for a while and I think they are very useful. All the download links for these apps will be in the description below. So I hope you like my video and if you do, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching.